Good afternoon. I am sorry that I started late. I am uh, guilty of falling asleep. Okay. Building my audience. Telling my followers. That's so funny. Keep going. We're telling your followers to join your video. Like I have a cult. My followers. One awesome welcome to the live stream. Go ahead and invite everybody else. <laughs> oh, cool. I found a Tootsie Roll in my pocket. So, the reason I am starting, what is it, 20 minutes late, is because I fell asleep. And my get up and go live alarm did not go off like it was supposed to. But that's okay. So, my two watchers, tell me hi so I know who you are. I know that's gross. I'm sorry. It's a tootsie roll, though. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Go down to your little thing down there at the bottom and invite people so they'll show up. And as soon as I get this tussy roll thing off my teeth, I'll start talking about stuff. Okay, I'm just going to start talking about stuff. Alright. Operation Freedom Stroller is a success. That's what I'm going to call it, the Freedom Stroller. I don't know, that's just, sounds funny to me, it's like a superhero. Like, strolling for your freedom. Anyway, um, the Honey Badger was a great product. Uh, I, I give it 9 out of 10 stars. It's just not a great product for what I needed it to be. Um, as far as carrying a heavy load and taking it through rugged terrain, it was absolutely awesome. It was a, it was an awesome product. Um, really sturdy, really strong device. Uh, the issue is, is that when you have a dog tethered to you or to it, and you're walking down the side of a highway and 18-wheelers go by with the wind and the uneven ground, it's really difficult to balance for 10 or 15 miles at a time. So... Uh, I gave it a good push 
about 100 miles and decided I needed to switch over to something um, that I could actually step away from without it falling over or that the dog could tug on without falling over. Um, stroller, I can leave the dog chained to while I go in the store. I can uh, push it one-handed and talk on the phone. Uh, it worked out really well. I'm going to go in here inside this building where the Freedom Stroller is and try to give you a view of it. Uh, it's dark. You might not be able to see it. Uh, but there, I've already posted some pictures of it. So, uh, if I lose signal or can't see it, I'll come right back out. There we go. Okay, here we go. Back in the store. Alright, look out, girl. Get out of the way. Move. Move. The dog is in the way. I know this is like spooky, like going through one of the haunted house things, huh? So, here is the Freedom Stroller. Anyway, it works really well. It's half packed. A uh, friend Robert gave me the hammock, strung it up between the poles. Okay, it's saying my connection's weak. I'm gonna go back outside. Ooh, can't even see me. You stay, stay here. Don't come outside. Stay, I'll walk you in a minute. Ow, ow, okay. So yeah, I fell asleep, that's why we started late. Sorry about that. This building's really cool. It's a really old building. And it's lettering's backwards. That's strange. Um, this Coke machine. It's one of the Coke machines that was recalled because it's got all the suggestive uh, um, subliminal stuff in it. Like, see right up here at the top. It's supposed to look like a woman's head. Her face is right there. And her hair and her boobs, and her butt, see, and then down here in the ice, right here is supposed to be a lady's head, and then a boob, and another boob, and then her stomach, and her crotchal area, and a leg, and a leg, anyway, so it's cool, if you ever see those coke machines around, they're not supposed to be there, they were recalled. Really pretty sky. See that? Ooh. Yeah, that comes across pretty cool. So, this stop was only about six and a half miles from Merchant Mill Pond. It was, uh, it was really nice staying there. It rained really, really hard last night. And, uh, I stayed relatively dry, but because of the humidity on the inside of my little tent. Whew. Every time I would roll over, I'd shake the tent, and it would rain on me inside, but it wasn't bad. Um, I don't know what my next stop after here is. I'm going to have to get my home team to let me know. There's a cool old Pepsi sign over there. And, uh, hey, look, a squirrel. So, it was a great day. Uh, walking was pretty easy. Feet don't hurt. Stroller helped out a lot going down the road. It was, it was really cool to be able to, like... Like give the stroller like a real good push and then just walk behind it while it was rolling under, you know, its own inertia. And then catching back up to it and doing it again. It was almost like walking with, with no stroller at all. It was really neat. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, over here, I wanted to show this. This is pretty cool. This is part of the same building. Probably one of the rooms that Cody would say, you need to go through that. So, I went through it. Oh, 
It looks like somebody showed up and locked it. Too bad. But uh, I went in there earlier, and the whole... Uh, oh, maybe it's because I didn't actually push the button for the handle. Yeah, that would have something to do with it. But yeah, so this is part of the same building. Uh, and I would go through it, except this is all there is. It's a tiny little room with the ceiling falling in. Uh, back there is a huge stack of soaked together Playboys. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, Mom, but right there above my fingertip is a Betty Boop um, like Christmas tree thing, you know, like you hang from uh, your car window to make your car smell better. But it's all gross. I couldn't get it. Um, I did pretty good in the rain. Mom says we've been getting donations all day. Excellent, excellent. So over here, I don't want to go too far around here because I've been pulling ticks off of myself for days and, you know. Ooh, that is a pretty sunset. That's pretty. So this is a cotton field. No cotton. That's pretty. I'm just going to sit here and admire it for a second. Wow. So that's the bathroom. And as you can tell, it's probably not usable. So I've got my emergency bucket. But yeah, the walk went really well today. I got some pictures. Um, really, there wasn't much worthy of taking pictures of. It's a little chillier right now than it was yesterday at this time, so I'm, I'm glad I'm inside, indoors. Well, I'm not right now, but I will be right in a minute. So... When would you like more MREs? Uh, I still have three left. Every time I go to eat one, someone shows up and gives me a meal. 